The problem is that estimate the crime rate for July and August. I have to do the approximation for the crime rate for the upcoming July and August months. What I'm going to do here, I have to do the estimation of the crime rate for the upcoming July and August months using this technique of least squares method. Let's do it. This is my table. Here is my n. This is my month for the x. For the y, I put crime. Suppose for the very first month, which was January, we had 55 crime cases. For the second month, which is February, we had 42 crime cases. For the third month, which was March, we had 30 crime cases. For the fourth month, which was April, we had 50 crime cases. For the May, we had 25 cases. For the June, we had 15 cases. Since this method is for the even number of points, you have to end with the even number of points. You don't do the odd number of points. We are dealing with even number of points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have even number of points. For January, February, March, April, May, June, we had crime cases. But we don't know for the July and August months. We have to do the estimation. For the estimation, we're going to use this method to know that how many cases we will have for the July and August month. Let me add this column, which is capital X equals to X minus mean, all over one half. Mean value, mean value along X axis. My X column is this for the month. So you have to check the mean value here. Look, for the odd number of points, I have no problem. For example, if N equals to five, you can directly pick three, the March. But since we have even number of points, therefore we're gonna take the mean value from the middle two points from March and April. March is three, this is the third month. April is four, which is the fourth month. So three plus four will be seven and then divide by two. Seven divided by two will be 3.5. 3.5 will be the mean value. You have to pick these two middle points because I have two points above and two points below. So you have to pick these two middle points, March and April. March is the third month, which is three. April is the fourth month, which is four. So three plus four will be seven. Seven divided by two will be 3.5. So 3.5 will be the mean value along X axis. You have to subtract 3.5 from the X and then divide it by one half. You will get these respective values. Look what we did here. I have January. January is the first month, one. Subtract one. So I will have 1 minus 3.5. Remember, 3.5 is the mean value along x axis. So 1 minus 3.5 divided by 1 half will be negative 5. February is the second month, which is 2. So 2 minus 3.5 divided by 1 half will be negative 3. March is the third month, which is 3. 3 minus 3.5 divided by 1 half will be negative 1. April is the fourth month, which is 4. So 4 minus 3.5 divided by one half will be one. May is the fifth month, which is five. So five minus 3.5 divided by one half will be three. June is the sixth month. So six minus 3.5 divided by one half will be five. Now add another column, which is capital X times Y. Just take the product of capital X and Y, you will get these values. Remember my capital X is this. My X is the crime. Crime is indicated by Y. This crime is the Y column. This month is the X column. But we don't deal with the X. We are taking the capital X. So take the product of all these values with the values here in this column. 55 times negative 5 will be negative 275. 42 times negative 3 will be negative 126. 30 times negative 1 will be negative 30. 50 times 1 will be 50. 25 times 3 will be 75. 15 times 5 will be 75. Let me add one more column, which is capital X squared. Just take the squares of all the capital X values. You will get this column. My capital X is here. Just take each square. So negative 5 squared is positive 25. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 1 squared is 1, 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25. Let me add one more column, which is sigma capital X squared. 
it is 70. Some more columns which are sigma y it equals to 217, sigma capital X it equals to 0, sigma capital X times y it equals to negative 231. Look my x squared is here. The sigma capital X squared means that you add all these values you will get 70. Sigma y means summation of all the y values. Remember this crime is the y. So add all these values you will get 217. Sigma capital X equals to 0. Add all these values you will get 0. Your sigma capital X must be 0. Sigma capital X times y is negative 231. Capital X times Y is this. Add all these values at the end you will get negative 2 through 1. Now from the formula which is sigma Y equals to NA plus B times sigma capital X. Plug in all the respective values. Sigma Y is here which is 217. This is my sigma Y. My N is 6. The number of points are 6. So plug in 6 for the N and B times 0. Sigma capital X is 0. Plug in 0 for the sigma capital X. So B times 0 will be 0. I will have A equals to 217 divided by 6. So my A will be 36.167. But what about for the B? For the B I have to use this formula. Sigma capital X times Y equals to A times sigma capital X plus B times sigma capital X squared. Plug in the respective values. Sigma capital X times Y is negative 2 through 1. Plug in negative 2 through 1 for the sigma capital X times Y. Sigma capital X is 0. Plug in 0 for the sigma capital X. Sigma capital X squared is 70. Plug in 70 for the sigma capital X squared. So A times 0 will be 0. I will left only with B equals to negative 2 through 1 divided by 70 to have B equals to negative 3.3. There I got the values of A which is 36.167 and B which is negative 3.3. So I have to plug in the values of A and B in the equation of the line which is Y cap equals to 36.167 minus 3.3x. This is my final equation of the line. But my task is to estimate the crime rate for July and August. For the July I will have 13 cases for the August I will have 7 cases. Remember my mean value was 3.5. July is the 7 month. 7 minus 3.5 divided by 1 half will be 7. August is 8. So 8 minus 3.5 divided by 1 half will be 9. Now how I got this crime rates here? How I did this? I used the equation of the line which is y cap equals to 36.167 minus 3.3 times 7. Remember this capital X is this capital X. I want to estimate it for the July. So for the July my capital X is 7. So just plug in capital X equals to 7 here. Take the product of 3.3 with the 7. At the end you will get approximately 13. That's how I got 13 here. Similarly for the August, plug in the values 9 for the capital X. At the end you will get 7. For the August my capital X is 9. Plug in this 9 for the capital X here. It approximately equals to 7. That's how I got 13 cases for the July and 7 cases for the August. So I have estimated that I will have 13 cases for the July month and 7 crime cases for the August month. There was one practical problem that we faced in our daily life. You can do more problem. You can solve many more problems by using this method. Remember this is the approximation method. This is not the perfect method. There is no perfection. You estimate something. So we do estimation for the upcoming months or for the upcoming years. That's how least squares method has a tremendous role in our daily life.